Now tonight on FX, you can catch an all new episode of Class of 09. The series uh, takes a very interesting approach to the storyline, which makes it all the more fascinating. The other day, I spoke to Brian J. Smith all about his character and if he thinks we'll get an extended version of the limited series. So check out what he had to say. Brian, thank you so much for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. No problem. So can you please explain Class of 09 to me a little bit more than what we already know? Well, it, it, it follows this really extraordinary, very gifted, very promising and special class of FBI recruits uh, through their training at Quantico, um, through their service in the FBI, and then beyond after that, um, once they've left the FBI. And you know, it, it's about the way institutions uh, change us and change the people that work in them. And it's also the way that people from the inside out can and should uh, change these institutions too. I love that because it, it, this is really interesting because it follows like three different timelines of, right. of these recruits. How has that been to film? Like, do you do you need to get yourself in a room alone <laughs> for a few minutes before you kind of get into, oh, this is earlier Linux, this is later? Yeah, well, I mean, there were definitely some times like, you know, especially early on in filming when we just sort of had to like jump off the cliff and just trust that, you know, that it would make sense a little bit because, you know, like, especially early on, the later scripts usually haven't been written yet. So there would be pieces of information that we wouldn't quite know about our backstories or our relationships that I think Tom Rob Smith, our showrunner and writer, had had figured out. He knew where it was headed, but he hadn't he hadn't written it out yet. Mm. Um, so, you know, all you can do in that situation is show up, you do the scene, do the scene the best you can. You try not to blow it. Um, and then just trust that the you know director, the editor, and Tom in post can kind of pull it all together and have it make sense. You know. Let me tell you the TV magic that these editors pull off. <laughs> easy Look, ed editors. I have. I, I'm. I'm actually like directing a documentary right now, and we're in post production. And uh, I. I have a whole new respect for editors and what they do. It, it's. It's a really unbelievably difficult uh, art form. I know this is a limited series. We can find it on FX and then streaming on Hulu the next day. It's so good and it has just pulled us into this deep storyline. Do you know if you can give us like a little tidbit, if there's any plans to kind of extend this, make it even bigger than it already is? Yeah, I, I don't think so. I think that this one is just a one and done, a very self-contained story. It's kind of the great thing about it, really, is that, you know, like a lot of shows, you watch them, and you love them, and you can tell that they're, like, doing a lot of fake stuff to sort of hopefully uh, um, justify a second season. <laughs> um, and there's none of that here. We always knew that this was just a, you know, a very self-contained story. And it was like a long film. And it's nice to work on something that you know has a definite mid beginning, a middle, and an end. Even though if there's three different timelines, that beginning might be at the beginning, at the end, and the middle might be, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and you're so right about it being kind of like a movie, especially in the production value. I've seen, I'm just blown yeah. away by just the vision that I feel like they have for this, this limited series. And it does feel like a movie almost each episode. Yeah, well, that's I mean, I, FX always does like they have great looking shows um, and they they really it's one, one of the great things about this. You could tell like the cinematographers are, are directors of photography on every episode, every setup. It was so meticulous the way that they lit and the camera work on it was really fantastic. Um, you know, it's the bar is set so high for television these days. And it, it, it has to be cinematic and it has to look great. And they, they really did a great job on this. It's a beautiful show to look at. It absolutely is. And you know, Brian, I just have to thank you so much for stopping by. I cannot wait to continue to tune in. I, I can't wait for my friends to, and I'm pushing everyone to watch Class of 09 on FX. Thank you so much.